Hello, Samadan here, and today I'd like to talk all about tailoring. Now, tailoring is one of my favorite professions because when you've got it filled out, you can have a lot of different sales throughout all the different expansions. But today I'm going to talk about Shadowlands tailoring, how to level it up, what's selling well at the moment, and what to look out for in the future. So tailoring itself is fairly easy to level up. You only really need shrouded cloth and lightless silk and then penumbra thread as your main materials in order to craft everything. So you can use a website like Wow Professions to guide you through that or you can use TSM itself and just go through and have a look at the crafting cost, find whichever is the cheapest, filter it out to whichever has a skill up for you and then it's handy to also have the trainer next to you as well whilst you're doing this. So you have the trainer window up on one side you learn the next rank things and then you have tailoring up on this side and you filter it for have skill ups and work your way through the list. In general, I look for what has the cheapest crafting cost and then I also look at what has a good profit and what has a good sale rate and weigh up what's going to be my next thing to get to my next skill level. The route I went to with my leveling process is I started with bandages um, but if you are an enchanter, which I highly recommend uh, pairing tailoring with enchanting, it works really well together, you can actually start with the braces, the shrouded cloth braces, and level those through and then disenchant those, because you'll need plenty of those. Those are grey at 20, and then carry on and make the next cheapest thing, like hoods and shoulders. And then I went through the heavy bandages in the middle there, just because it was uh, cheap, and then I started going onto the shadow lace cuffs. This is where you need the lightless silk. And then I just went through and crafted the cheapest thing I could, or the thing that gave me the most skill ups to get myself all the way to 100. Then the only things I'm really missing here is the crafter's mark, which needs the Venari rep. And then you need to get to level 60 in order to do the base legendary items. And then you also need the undying army honored in order to get the shadow lace cloak. So that's the, the rough route I took there. If you look at WoW Professions, it's quite similar really. Um, you've got the shrouded cloth bandages, capes, hoods, spaulders. Again, I would recommend doing the braces as it's cheaper slightly. There is a potential here for a vendor flip on the shrouded cloth cape, depending on how cheaply you can get your shrouded cloth. But that does require some penumbra thread. And penumbra thread is the thing that is costing you a lot here. Looking at the thread, it really does help if you can get yourself to exalted somewhere where you can buy this from. I'm not actually exalted with any of the current factions, but I am exalted with Proudmoore Admirality, so I can go to Boralus and buy these up for 7 gold 20, as opposed to the 9 gold base price that they are. Or if you're a goblin, you get the best price anywhere, and you can automatically get it for a nice cheap price. So that's what's going to cost you a fair amount. The lightless silk as well, so avoid that until it until you absolutely have to, it's about 100 gold on my server at the moment. Whereas the shrouded cloth is really cheap at the moment. 2 to 5 gold looking at that. So it's fairly easy to level tailoring. It's also worth picking up Shadowlands cloth scavenging at the beginning of your journey. Because that is really useful to find additional cloth as you're going about your day anyway. So I'd highly recommend that as well. So let's look at the things you can actually make for a decent profit. Obviously depending on your server. So here is the list of the things that are currently selling for me. So I have the shrouded cloth bag. I occasionally get some reasonable sales on those, depending on my price of shrouded cloth mainly. Lightless silk pouches are nice. They take a fair amount of penumbra thread, so your base cost there of 180 gold for your thread, and then lightless silk, an extra 15 on there, depending on the price you can get your silk for. Currently it's quite expensive, so you'd have to try and get that quite cheap. This is quite a competitive market, the pouch and the bags. Then we have all the specialised base legendary items once you're level 60. These are all rank 1 at the moment. The trick here is whether it's worth it for you to level these up to rank 2s, 3 and 4 at the moment. Maybe one thing being the cape, because everyone can wear a cape depending if that's best in slot for people, for their legendaries. It's a very hit and miss market. If you want to invest your gold, there is quite a lot of startup cost into these, so treat it with caution. I don't have any of these at a profit at the moment, sadly. So for me, I'm actually just waiting to see rather than plowing through these into the rank twos and threes where there might be a small profit on those. But that's a market that requires a quite a heavy investment into uh, materials. So it depends on whether you have the gold for that. The ones that have been ticking well through for me 
is the shrouded cloth base sets basically all the uh, something of a fresh 150 to have it's worth potentially adding a novice crafters mark to some of these to downgrade them to requires level 50 so that a fresh level 50 has something to do you have to do this manually rather than using TSM but these would be quite nice to be downgraded to 50 and sell one of those each with a novice crafters mark as well as selling these in their current form which is just the base the base item with the random stats because people will use that as an, a way to upgrade as they're leveling through and then once people are level 60 the shadow lace items are still selling if you can get your venari rep up to cordial by doing them more several times then you'll be able to go and get the higher crafters mark two of these items which will be very very useful in terms of getting item level 168 for a fresh level 60. At the moment these are dropping below profit margins for me at the moment and the price they're going for at the moment. Sometimes you get a good variation randomly from these and you can sell them for a little bit more so don't necessarily rely on the TSM prices here. But one thing to watch out for is the deposit fees on these because their vendor sell price is quite high they're going to cost you a fair amount in order to actually post on the auction house. So I wouldn't necessarily have too many of those. Bandages I don't usually sell, the profit margins are very slim here so I don't tend to bother with those but it's still an option. So overall there's um, some nice little bits here. It's not necessarily going to make you a huge amount of gold but it's a nice one to tick through. The real power comes in pairing this with enchanting and then you can start making things like the shadow lace cuffs to get yourself some sacred shards. Check your jewel crafter because you might be able to make them cheaper with jewel crafting. And then the other side of things, the shrouded cloth braces uh, could be a cheap option for you. Also check your leather worker because you might be able to make them cheaper there for your soul dust. So that pairs really well between enchanting and tailoring. The thing that works really well with tailoring is actually having all the other expansions maxed out and having recipes here. Because if you can sell shirts, bags, and things like that from all of the different expansions these do still sell so i would highly recommend if you're going to take tailoring as a profession is have a look at leveling up everything over time i know it takes a long time but it's definitely worth it because here is where i make most of my gold is literally carrying on selling all these kind of different items as well as the occasional ones from here just looking here at the range of stuff I've been selling in, in tailoring over the past 30 days, you can see a lot of deep sea bags, nether weave bags, a uh, few shrouded cloth bags in there as well, hex weave bags, and then the odd cosmetic item like the azure silk hood and green woolen vest. Lots of different sales here, so there's a lot of variety here. That's an outlier there, the royal moon shroud robes and things, but there are still things here, shadow lace cuffs are still selling here. If I filter this just to Shadowlands, you can see there's a few different bits and pieces, shadow lace, mantle, foot wraps, tunic, and a few shrouded cloth bits and pieces here. Grimveiled early on in the expansion, I was able to sell a few of those. Haven't had any sales yet of the higher end stuff. I'd have to really push that up to the rank two and three and four in order to be able to see some sales there, I think. And the same with the shadow lace items now. It's kind of at a point now where I ought to be going into the item level 168. So you do need to invest a fair amount on them. But there's a big difference here between what I'm selling here and what I was selling with all of the tailoring maxed out. So in terms of a profession, tailoring is really nice. If you can get yourself into maybe a 2x4 group or something like that to get yourself some cheap cloth. Or make a deal with your local farmer and get some cash on delivery items that are cheaper than the market prices. Especially for lightless silk if you can get some of that. Obviously you'll be picking some up yourself as a tailor and adventuring through the world. So those are nice little bonuses. I would say it's okay as a profession for Shadowlands. It really shows its strength once you pair it with other professions like enchanting and also when you make sure you've got the full depth of the profession from all the older expansion things because those still do sell. So I think of the Shadowlands aspect of it just another string to the bow of many items that I can make as a tailor. So I hope you found that useful. I have all my groups and operations available on my Patreon if you're interested in using the ones I use for tailoring. If you do have any questions, please do ask me in the comments below. So until next time, happy gold making, and I'll see you very soon.